what is happening in River State, Obibo to be precise. Um, there's been a lot of um, happenings on the side with soldiers, you know, being um, um, deployed to town to put um, law in place. But then there have been some reports that there were killings and, you know, all sorts of things happening in that place. Well, the governor of River State, Governor Yeson Winke, has said that he did not deploy soldiers to kill Igbos in Obibo. Um, my name is Kuliesa and this is Serious Matters on Onyx TV. We'll look at this together. There's been some, there's been issues, you know, in that part of the country lately and the pictures that we're seeing, um, I know, well, we just, we are very, very sensitive here where we, we, we do our check, our fact checks first before we start. But then when you add, you know, the these and that, you know, together, then you, you come out with a bit very scary picture of things happening on that side. Now, there have been reports that there have been some killings by soldiers and those bodies have been evacuated by the military, uh, you know, as well. You know, reports like that are making the hairways at the moment. Now, but this is serious matters and because it concerns the lives of people, we just feel, okay, let's talk about it. Now, the governor has said that he never ordered the military to kill Igbos and well I don't see any reason why any you know uh, governor you know who's been elected to rule or to lead the people will do that anyway um he said the, the, the river state governor in some is a week he has described the allegation that he ordered the Nigeria army to kill Igbos in Oibo local government's area as a politically motivated falsehood he maintained that coffee was imposed in Obibo to restore calm after members of IPOB killed six soldiers, four policemen, and destroyed all police stations and court buildings there. There had been some issues in that place, and the curfew was necessary. But then, you know, people now begin to find it difficult when, you know, the, the, for instance, what happened in Lagos, Lekki, Lagos, where, you know, somebody, there was a shooting by military men, especially with the pictures and videos making the round at that time. And the governor says he didn't know anything about the shooting, only for the army to come out and say it was Lagos State government that ordered them to come. Now, yeah, you, um, you, you find it very difficult to continue to believe such, you know, setup. And you know that's that's the problem. That's the problem. One thing is being said now, the another is said again, and you know you cannot just continue like that. Governor Wiki gave the explanation on a live television um, program in Port Courts on Monday. Um, he said that he said. The narrative that Igbos were being killed by the military is intended to shift attention from the depicable activities of IPOB in Oyibo, um, which is a boundary area adjoining Abia State. I know that this is not the first time IPOB has used Obibo as launching ground. The security agencies are aware IPOB added a new dimension to the. I mean, this time they killed six army officers in Bont One. And they killed four police officers. They destroyed all the police stations and court buildings. What offense did we commit as a state? Now, these are very, very, um, very, very sad events. These are very, very sad events. You know, um, it's, it's, it's said speaking, they, they are called for killing military men, killing police, and even destroying police. It's as, it's as good as puncturing the security of the states to deflate. The security of the state or make the, the security of the state porous for infiltration. Now, he said that I impose call for you to restore calm. I proscribe IPOB activities anywhere in the states. Don't forget that the federal government had declared them a terrorist group. It is not the entire ghost that believe in IPOB activities. Uh, he said, so it's not true that I ordered the military to kill Igbos in Obibos, in Obibo, when did I become a friend to the military? <laughs> so what about the Igbos living elsewhere in the States? Are they also being killed? He further said, I have no relationship with the army or the police. I do not command them. They change commissioners of police everywhere, every time. How will I begin to direct the army that I do not give instructions? The governor bemoaned IPOB's effrontery to remain a local government in the state and and hoist, um, hoist its flag in a public school in Kom Kom town. I will not fold my hands and watch criminals destroy my state. If those few criminals are egos, then they should know that I will not allow them. They made attempts to rename a local government in my state. That, that alone is a signal. He said, I will not agree to that. I know who is doing all this. 
who has told them to rise, protest against Wiki. The governor stated that the state government has no regret against its stance on IPOB, already designated as a, as a terrorist um, organization by the federal government. According to him, even the Southeast governors have never supported IPOB and wondered why a governor from the Niger Delta should tolerate the group. He revealed that security agencies during their search of some residents in Obibo saw shrines with IPOB flags and Namde Kalu's pictures. He maintained that if IPOB is allowed to operate from Obibo, they will soon overrun the states. The governor said the government has commenced move to replace all the properties destroyed by the, by the group during the protest, regretting that the damage had left huge finance burden on the state. In addition, he said the state has decided to compensate each family of the Kim's so security personnel with 20 million naira to cater for to cater for the welfare of the bereaved widows and their children. He further said that the ANSUS protest and its aftermath would have been averted if the federal government had not demised the alarm he earlier raised on the activities of SARS to make politics. I recall that the governor had said something about that. He, he mentioned that if his voice, you know, had been listened to, if he had not said he was talking politics, then it wouldn't have gotten to this um, point. Said so these losses of the aftermath of the protest are unfortunate. Recall that we started the cry against operations of SARS. Um, we asked for reform, but they politicized the issue because they used it to kill and intimidate us. Now, he went on to say that here the minister always used SARS to cause mayhem under the leadership of Ake Fakoride. We suffered a great deal. At a time, the entire National Assembly election was cancelled. But we but put faith in God. We put faith in God who owns the states. We triumphed eventually, he said. Thank you very much for watching. That's coming from River State. And of course, to check you know, events and happenings on that side, you could drop your comments and opinions on the platform. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.